in your experience is what is the relationship between an an a ISSE an ISSO and ISSM so let me let me see if I can answer this question I, I kind of went over this one last week I believe but I I could cover it again I've done all these positions and um, so I, so first of all what are these so information system security officer an information system security engineer and an information system security manager what are the differences between these three it kind of depends on the organization how they define them and what they, what kind of tasks they give them but in my experience the the information system security officer is normally somebody who does a lot of documentation a lot of meetings um, a lot of coordination with SMEs um, they're inputting a lot of security and they do need to know their stuff because every now and then security issues come up and they have to be able to articulate those security issues with your C-level execs, your managers. They, they have to be very good communicator, right? The ISO. The ISO is underneath the information system security manager. The information system security manager is usually in charge of two or three or maybe a whole floor of security people. He's a manager or she's a manager who has multiple information security officers underneath them. So they're new, normally – I work for some very, very smart uh, ISSMs, but they don't really – their skill set really has to be in management because they're not going to be in the weeds on stuff. They're not really going to be sitting in on meetings with technical meetings and stuff like that unless it's, everything's already uh, concluded, right? I mean they come in – to get informed and then they take that back to the C level execs or whatever. So they don't normally have to do the in weed stuff. So they're a manager. That's the difference between those two. One is an operator, they're on the floor in the weeds. The other one is a manager who has two or three different people under them. They're doing things like your time card, your your uh I don't know, your evaluation for the year and your you know, stuff like that. Stuff that you uh you it, that's the relationship between those two. The ISSE, okay, the Information System Security Engineer. So this one's tricky because I've done this twice and uh, it, it was different each time. So one time, it basically wasn't any different from an Information System Security Officer. I did all the same things. I would go to sites. The, okay, here, here was one difference. They had me doing uh, our assessments. I'd, I'd go to, I'd do site technical evaluations where I would go to they we had like maybe five sites and they would fly me I would I'd go there and I'd do the evaluation I'd run the script to do the scan and stuff like that and then I would take that data back and I'd have to analyze that data it was more a little bit more hands-on like I had to log into the system it was like a Unix system log in okay um, look check all the the users on there make sure there's no erroneous users okay does that check out against this list Okay, let me run this network scan. It's like a little script that would run and look at all the nodes that are connected to this computer and stuff. I, it was a little bit more technical. And then another position I did also was a little bit more technical where well, I was implementing some of the security controls. And then I would have to talk to the architect. Like I would have to talk to the guys who were in charge of like putting the network together. I'd have to talk to the network team a little bit. I'd have to talk to – It was it was documentation, but it was also like – sitting into the very technical meetings so i would say it's the difference between the relationship between them is that information system security officer is un, is a is managed by the information system security manager and there's a separate field called the information system security engineer which does a lot of what uh, the information security officer does, but they would have me do technical stuff. That was my experience with with the roles, and that can vary from from organization to organization how they classify the the tasks. Because I've done ISO ISO work where I also did technical stuff, but usually I was doing mostly documentation and meetings and stuff. So I hope that answers your question. Um, let me see here. 